and welcome back everyone to Steel Division 2. Today we're doing part 45 of our playing every division in the game. We are playing against Black Adder using the 28 Jagger on the balance income and I am obviously playing the 28 Panzer Gunadier on balance income. If you want to see the deck just look at the previous video uploaded. If you are new to the channel subscribe because I post a lot of content. So if you want to see it uh, it's a good way to do it. And if not, I do post it on Reddit, Steam, and the Discord channel almost uh, every week. P not almost, every week. So, um, this is the map we've been given against 28 Jaeger. I think it's going to be very difficult. Um, maybe not so around here. Sorry, not maybe not so around here, uh, but mostly... In this town here, I do expect a lot of problems coming from 28 Jagger. So basically, as you can see from the my deployment in the blue corner here, um, I've concentrated almost everything into town. My goal is to take town as fast as possible, and then with my superior uh, firepower and long-range units such as the elephant or you know things like that, tanks and whatnot, uh, I intend to defend the uh, long range engagement uh, to defend by long range engagement around these parts. So let's go look at the, the northern front here. Uh, I only have one, two, three, four, four Ersatz Truppen who are gonna come here. I do not want to be too aggressive. I know if I go here in the forest with the Ersatz, they'll just get destroyed. I'm gonna give this the flag to my enemy, no problem. As long as you know, as long as I got my force here, there'll, there'll, there'll be a line, and the enemy will think that there's something menacing around this part, and out, and hopefully he won't attack. So this is a uh, bluff war. Uh, we can think of that as a ruse. And uh, here, I have some troops coming here. Mostly they're Hellsats open as well, and I don't think I have many of them. Or maybe I do have uh, four or five of them actually when I think of that. I think, yeah, all these guys. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four Ersatz here. Four Ersatz here is going to consist of defense for uh, for the northern flank. Now, into town now. I've got uh, Flamers going to town. Two machine guns. Let's go see where they go. Flamers are going here. Machine gun as well. So I got one machine gun here. For the road and uh, this area here and I got one machine gun into the church and I also have the flak panzer t-34 so this is going to be used for anti-air defense and uh, this little dude is going right here uh, close to the the front line to give support as well and then I got all of this here going into town so I got a panzer gun or a machine gun either way here I got uh, more troops. Uh, all of these houses are all Ersatz Truppen. One, two, three, four, five. And so, uh, maybe not this one here, but actually, yeah, these four houses are all Ersatz because I want to show uh, a dominance of infantry here uh, by concentrating a lot of them together. And I do have more, uh, you know, I got a bazooka here, I got some stuff and flamers. And I do have the Panzer 4 5 to give some veterancy to my troops as soon as he arrives. And so, yeah, this, this is my deployment basically and my plan. So, I hope you're gonna enjoy seeing that into action. And the enemy also has a lot of things to, to bring to the table. He's gonna be very aggressive here, as you can see. And a, a lot of infantry. Uh, I think this is a good deployment. Uh, he's got a pack 38 with a two pack 38 actually going there. Here he's got more troops coming here and here and here. So you can see just how aggressive he is. And there's a couple going there, but uh, other than the couple going to town, all of this is going to measure against these and a couple more here. So we'll see how this goes. And if not for town, he's uh, not. He's being a bit aggressive by going there. He's kind of want to secure his uh, dominance over that flag. He's got a bit of troops here. A lot of troops actually. When I when I look at that, one, two, three, four, five. 
And uh, yeah, so let's start the game. I think this is going to be an exciting game. Well, not only do I think it, I actually know how it went. And uh, it is a pretty exciting game. Alright. Look at that against against eight Ersatz Truppen. So I'm losing some flame chores here. This is going to go down fast. I'm calling in a ton bunch of uh, Ersa Soup and more into town. I need to have the numbers because his infantry is much better than, than mine. You know, let's take a look at them. 7 MP40, 2G43, 1 machine gun, 1 Panzer Faust. I mean, this is deadly stuff, especially against the Ersatz Truppen. But number makes perfect, and I, I bunch them all together. I'm gonna put the mic closer to my, my face. There you go. And I'm bringing uh, these two for support as well. At least along the road there. There you go. Already doing some some nice work. So uh, town is pretty much mine now. There are these people. He's bringing one Storm Jagger as reinforcements. It's not gonna cut it. This though is uh, pretty well, but he's not attacking so far. He's he does have a, a tree machine gun here, so this is gonna be deadly if I want to cross. I do have my four Elsa Swoopin here just to take the flag. Another one here, just in case everyone dies, I decide to put this one here. And I'm going to bring a Stug 4 as a reinforcement right away. He's bringing the fucker Wolf 190, but I do have uh, anti-air, uh, good anti-air defense here. Now, I'm going to advance as much as I can. I got already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 reinforcement coming in. He's bringing Ersatz Truppen, uh, so this is going to be easy for me to, to defend uh, because uh, I do have veterancy and I do have Flamers, Machine Gun, uh, Tanks, uh, Flak Panzer. He's not going uh, He's not going to attack here, unfortunately for him. He could have just swarmed me completely here, and um, but he doesn't know that, right? Flak Panzer doing some damage on the Farker Wolf. Gonna start attacking here a little bit. Fucker Wolf's about to die. Uh, if he comes back again, I don't think he will. I'm bringing another Flag Panzer Panther this time. And uh, yeah, I see him coming with this Fucker Wolf, and I really want to capture town as quick as possible. So I'm gonna try to to deny him. Um, air advantage over town as much as possible and this I, I don't care that much um, I should but I don't care that much about the air because really uh, this I can retake that throughout the course of the game this I, I won't I wouldn't be able to lose my Panzer Führer to uh, the Stug 3 and Pack 38 one of the, the Stug 3 I, I'm guessing 
Uh, no, the Pack 38 actually uh, side shot me. Uh, unfortunately, these are the risks to take when you go into town and when you want to be aggressive. 14-10 for him. He's bringing more some Jaggers and Sug Trees. So I was being very aggressive with the T-34 uh, Flag Panzer here, but uh, I saw the Stug Tree preferred to retreat a little bit and uh, keep these for later. Fucker Wolf now dies because it was forgotten on top of the sky. So that's an easy kill for me there. I'm bringing uh, some Pentagon Adeo uh, to help with these guys. And I'm, I'll keep applying some pressure with the Assad Truppen, which did a, a great job so far. Uh, he's only advanced two Jaggers instead of everything together, so uh, I w I'm able to contest them. Still no presence of the enemy here. I brought my Stug here, just in case the enemy would start pushing here, then uh, you know I'd have that. And also it's a good uh, counter if you bring tanks around along these roads. So my Pentagon idea has arrived. The the fight for town continues. I, I do have uh, like tons of Ersatz to open. So basically I'm just wearing down his elite troops against my 15 point troops here. Panzergren has arrived. They are using their machine gun. Uh, not this guy, but these guys, yes. And I get the surrender. And now I'm gonna recapture this flag there. Stug 4 coming here. Another Stug 4. I'm starting to bring some mortars as well because I know I'm gonna need it. And town is not going as great as I would want it. Uh, but I'm, uh, I don't want to push too much either. I, I'm more into uh, defense right now because there are some tanks around there. And I don't have any response, long, res long engage, well, long distance response to these right now. So I'm gonna wait for my Stug to arrive. They are Stug 4, so they should perform better than the Stug 3. Uh, yeah, they have more armor. So now I am bringing my Panzer Grenadier uh, along the edge of the forest, bringing my Ersatz Supin a bit more in front. And the Ersatz are gonna serve as the recon, getting shot, you know, or detecting whatever. And then the Panzer Grenadier with the machine gun will be able to shoot at whatever is approaching. This is the idea, at least, I'm bringing my other two right in front here. Yeah. I guess we could uh, advance this uh, just a little bit. It, there's a lull in the in the battle. Martyr twos, uh, leaders, more Stug tree coming in. Now I'm bringing my planes, the BF-109 two star. I know I have lots of uh, anti-air. And there you go, I get right behind him, gonna allow me to kill it. So that's two fucker wolf dead uh, to my nun. And uh, my planes are uh, less expensive than his too. Bring some Panzer Shrek here to defend against and just in case he uh, tries to be aggressive there. I do have a pack 40 with a Stug 4 in combination. Pack 40 is gonna go here to try to kill, you know, incoming stuff. While the Stug 4 will protect it from behind. Uh, put my mortar on automatic fire. I'm bringing more mortars here on um, on defense, defending um, fire. They're gonna start shooting at the infantry. And I'm bringing mortars all over the place. Well, Stug tree has been brought up towards here, so I'm gonna retreat my troops into the forest and hope for the better. I do have a Panzer Shrek coming in. Leader here. It's gonna boost these guys, uh, but I do have a Stug 4, so it's gonna do great there. Martyr 2 has been brought up 
reinforcement for the hill. Uh, probably he wants to kill a new reinforcement coming here or in case I got some ideas of coming there. Uh, but uh, you gotta look at the guy's defense and uh, just appreciate how well defended this is. He's got three machine guns. One pack 45mm which uh, can do some damage to half tracks and stuff like that. One pack 38 here. He's got a Martyr 2. Uh, yeah, this is a very, very well defended place. And he, he's got the... He's capturing this, but he's still defending here like crazy, which is great. You can see now his machine gun shooting my Panzer Shrek along with this Jager. Uh, so this is not going to fare well. And it's my only defense against this 2 tree right now. Now, I've put all my mortars here on automatic uh, defense. And they're going to start shooting because the AI knows where the enemy is at all time. Even though the devs said they don't. I mean, I, I disagree with that. Because I, I didn't have any eyes on these guys. I just brought my mortar. I put them on defense fire uh, around this area. And they just start automatically shooting at the enemy. So, yeah. they def The artillery definitely do know where the enemy is. So I'm going to slowly eat him away like that. He's bring uh, some flak 43. I think this is a useless uh, investment on his part because I only got 185 points BF109 that serves as defense only. So at that moment, I think this is a waste of point. He could have uh, used this to buff more uh, infantry, but maybe he didn't have any. We are in phase B actually, so yeah, he definitely has. But... Uh, he probably has a long game plan here because he's bringing more anti-air everywhere across the map. My mortar just keeps uh, damaging these troops. I'm bringing an idea DP. So these are going to be good for long range defense. They have two uh, machine gun if you want to look more. I've put in some uh, smoke here in order to kill that Stug tree with the Panzer Shrek. I didn't want the flamer seeing me or these guys. Got some Pioneer right here. bring more pioneers to uh, this forest now I, I am capturing the town but um, I'm still nowhere clear to where close to where I want to go I'm gonna start engaging these troops now that they're heavily damaged I kind of forgot the Panzer Shrek here uh, but it is in the in a good position at least Yeah, now I'm gonna put some smoke here to block the machine gun from uh, looking at my Panzer Shrek. I'm gonna attack soon with these guys. A lot of Jaggers coming in, some uh, being destroyed by the Pack 40. Oh, he's actually HE firing on this guy here, which is fine. But I wish he would have taken some of the transport away. Panzer Shrek takes out the Opel Blitz. Stug 4 shooting at these guys. Uh, two Stug 4 shooting at these guys, so this is gonna suppress heavily. These guys are gonna die most likely. I've put my mortars together here and I'm gonna wait for a uh, supply truck. Now, I wouldn't usually take that, but for you guys, uh, for the video, I decided I would save up for an elephant just to, just to have a cool unit in the video I've decided to attack here pioneers are first to engage Elsa Stupid coming in with the Stug 4 
Battle of the Stoog here, Stoog 3 versus Stoog 4. Penetration on both. Two star shoots first and shoots second, destroy the Stoog 4. I'm bringing my BF109 to uh, to help these guys. As soon as my tank destroyed was destroyed, I, I fall back and get just one in support there. Now I'm bringing Morgan, Adir, DP, the offense on the way. Hoppel Blitz is coming to uh, supply these guys. I'm bringing also Flak 36 to uh, make sure the elephant survives whatever air attack might be. And uh, plus I do have these two there, so uh, I think I'm good for air. All right, my mortars are doing uh, quite the job here. Storm Jaggers coming, is coming in for the forest. I'm still controlling the flag in the forest. So uh, it's pretty great here. He's gonna bring his Tug around. My BF-109 keeps being unhindered because his flak is uh, in the forest here, so they they can't uh, they can't really see me. I guess he's using them more to shoot maybe uh, stuff there or incoming planes from this direction. Jagdpanzer IV plus his Tug four coming in. They're gonna be used here and eventually to destroy this if I can. Now one would argue that I'm not using my mortar correctly and they would be right. Um, as soon as this volley took off, I should have brought my Panzer Grenadier up and running. I think I was maybe a bit busy elsewhere. Um, yeah, now here comes my HE rockets coming in for the uh, machine gun. He's bringing a lot of uh, infantry through the main road. With some flak 43 coming in as support. It is now 12 12. Alf Clower coming in. As soon as I unload, they start seeing these units and they're gonna start shooting. And there you go. Elephant in action. I don't know why they're falling back into enemy... Yeah, okay. Uh, my planers are doing some work, but ultimately they're being destroyed by the Flight 43. Which is a good way to use this. Uh, we don't see often people using these uh, for anti-infantry. Bring more Panzer Grenadier uh, DP around here and then probably going for this. Unfortunately, this flag is being captured by the enemy, even though I got all this, so I don't think it should, but anyway, 14 tenths for him now. I've actually, yeah, let's pause for a second and talk about that. Um, I saw here how uh, intense he was uh, by bringing all of his reinforcements, so as soon as I saw all the reinforcement coming there, I knew he wouldn't have anything coming here, but well, now he does, but uh, I'm, I'm talking in the past here. So when it was all coming, I figured, and I needed to take town because, uh, well, fuck, I just needed it. I needed a good control point, uh, at least in the south, so that I could later defend the north better. So as soon as I saw all that reinforcement over here, I decided to move forward all my units. Just, you know, carelessly move forward. I knew he, he probably didn't have much around here, and I had all of these, and so I figured, let's just go for it. Which is what I did. And it turned out great. So I retreat. Did I? No. I attack here. Stug 3. Long range engagement against the Stug 4. So Stug 4 should naturally win. Even though he's got veterancy. There you go. Elephant still shooting around here. His last HE shells though. No. He's still got one. 
So he's bringing a lot of troops uh, in the open, but that's going to be bad for him. Pack 40 is, gonna, is getting shot at. Will he unload in time? Uh, yeah, he's not being targeted anymore. Dies from the elephant. There's uh, some machine guns here. They're going to... Obviously, this is all going to die now if he keeps going like that. Two machine gun lost. Three machine gun lost. These guys uh, unloaded, but uh, yeah, I don't know how far that's going to go. I do not have any reinforcement coming so far. I concentrate my reinforcement around here. I uh, destroyed this Stug with uh, both my troops there. Stug 3 versus Stug 4. My Stug should win this. Oof, penetration. Penetration both there. If he gets another shot like that, mine will die. And it dies, unfortunately. Such is life. He's still capturing this flag here. I'm getting pissed about that, to be honest. I'm bringing some machine gun around here. And I've actually brought these guys up to help with that. Uh, <laughs> which is... Oh, look at that. I don't think he dropped his bombs. Bring my BF-109 in response, but there's these two flak there, 43, it's gonna do some damage to my planes. Ah, uh, yeah. He's bringing a pack 38, probably to kill these guys. So he's capturing both these flags here, so it's still 1410. Even though I'm having a major breakthrough against him, but he's still got all of that. This is not doing so great around here. I'm bringing my Yak Panzer here because I figured he'd have a response against these. Uh, he's bringing a Stug Tree, as a matter of fact. Um, oof. Side shot, kills. Got another Panzer IV coming in. Yak Panzer. Alright, now these guys are being shot by the Pack 38. And uh, it's pretty dangerous. Oh no, the pack is actually shooting at the elephant. How great is that? Oh no, okay, now he's got a APCR. This guy will come back at the charge, unfortunately. Because uh, he's been giving the order to attack there. Okay, Flag Panzer, Panther survives. This is all mine now for the time being. I captured back these two flags, so it's now 1311 for me. And I've got these uh, reinforcements. I want to clear out this, uh, this part there, so I'm going to bring uh, these guys to attack. And these guys as well. I still got that flag. And I'm still contesting this one here. This guy actually ran out of machine gun, ran out of HE, so he can't shoot back at this flight 43. Alright, so he's gonna be falling back. More Jaggers, S2, are gonna try to penetrate here. Elephant is out of HE, Pack 40 is out of HE, everything is out of HE basically. I'm um, bringing my supply trucks to start uh, resupplying these guys. I got two machine gun here, three squads. Alright, one Opel Blitz down. It's two, he's doing some damage. I'm gonna have to bring my elephant uh, forward in order to kill that. Two, four, helping out with the uh, Pentagonadia here. I'm bringing some more reinforcement into this forest. So now I'm gonna retreat my Stug 4 in order to for him to get uh, resupplied. My enemy just uh, keep bringing Jaggers. All right, so now th th these parts of town is gonna be mine. 1311 so far. 
Yak Panzer versus Tuk Tree. Yak Panzer should win this. Penetration here. And there you go. Should be the killing blow. There you go. I'm trying to damage his Tuk Tree as much as possible. And now I'm really using my planes as a support weapon. So he did well to bring his Flight 43. Uh, this one is still in infantry defense mode. Doesn't really shoot in my planes much. Okay. So he's bringing airplanes here to try to destroy my elephant, but I still have this flight panzer panther. He's bringing a lot of air force. Um, I brought my flight 46 in quite an advanced position to in order to capture this flag. I don't know how many planes he's got, but uh, I intend to destroy them all. I don't think I'm going to get there in time though. Yeah. This flag still being contested, but uh, these storm scissors are pretty tough. I don't have much artillery around here. My Stuk 4, I advanced my Stuk 4 here, he died, uh, oh that lag, he died to uh, obviously uh, this guy most likely, or maybe they killed each other here. So uh, now I was resupplied with HE shell, I'm able to fire back at him, uh, though this back 40 is not going to be able to. Here I'm mostly defending with uh, these two. Um, I'm bringing a bit of reinforcement into town, but I can't really uh, afford that much reinforcement because I need to contest these deer, these area. Pack 38 kills the Jagdpanzer. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill it. By bringing all my airplanes into it. One shot retreat. I don't really kill it, but I retreat all my planes because uh, he's got some powerful air force, anti-air there. And at least, well, I damage it a bit, so that what's count. I'm bringing more mortars. These guys are going to start shooting here. And then I, I lined up my infantry and I'm just waiting for the mortar shot to land before I start moving. There you go. Now I'm going to start moving soon. This is what I would do if I saw it. Ah, oh. come on, guys! Hurry up! I think I completely forgot about them. Two so four shooting at these guys. I don't think he expected I had that much defense around here, but uh, I do. Unfortunately, these two gets in. Ah, there you go. Now I see that I move around. They're still heavily suppressed, so it's it's not that bad. I could have gotten the surrender though. And uh, killing these guys is going to give me the flag there. It's now 12-12 right now. Doesn't even kill because he's suppressed so much that his aim isn't great. I pretty much control everything here just like I wanted. I took control of, uh, of town. It's going to be very hard for him to... As you saw, you know, he's bringing troops and troops and they all die. Uh before reaching the front line or just just in front gun jam on stuk tree i don't know why he brought this he knows i have an elephant here maybe he thought it was dead anyway he's bringing a nipple buffer 300 millimeter oops that lag oh my god i need to get a new computer <laughs> and the uh, nipple buffer 300 millimeter is going to do some damage i can tell you that right away he's bringing a uh, recon here and right away he's going to start to get my anti-air Without my anti hair, it's going to be very hard for me to control this guy. I brought these to kill. Um, 
and opal blitz are uh, reinforcing the resupplying the mortars I, I really want to get this flag so i started shooting and i figured they could probably die just from mortar alone he's bringing more tanks which i don't think is the good decision to do there you go Nebelver for 300 kills the uh, flag panzer panther now I ordered these planes to shoot their rocket right here, where I saw the, the smoke trail coming in. Oh, okay, so that's why they didn't kill it. Oh, plus they're being shot by the Flag 40, and uh, so they never even got a chance to shoot. And that's what happens when you put your planes close together like that. They get suppressed from the same anti-hair. And I usually try to not do that, but sometimes when I'm stressed out, I just need to do something. Uh, but try to always come from different angle of attack. Now these guys are going to get their kill finally. Uh, this dude killed the elephant, probably maybe the stuk tree as well, or maybe they, these guys kill each other. But anyway, elephant down. I'm bringing a Panzer IV to replace him. A Yag Panzer IV to replace him. And I brought an elephant down here as well, because I want to dominate. Uh, like, this won't be able to kill the elephant. He's bringing a train of troops here. And I think he's gonna really try to, uh, you know, overwhelm uh, what little defense I have here. Fortunately for me, these guys are, at least this guy's gonna start shooting and these are gonna be forced to unload sooner than, uh, than thought. My mortar is still shooting at this guy here. Opel Blitz down to the Ersatz. A second Opel Blitz down to Ersatz. Ah, uh, almost a third. Uh, but now this elephant's gonna be able to support the Ersatz open. Oof, ouch. So yeah, this is the story of how Ersatz open can defeat three Jaeger troops. I'm bringing a Flak 88 with a Flak 36. Because now my my Ubermensch uh, anti-air defense are now dead. He's bringing a lot of uh, machine gun, but I, at this close range, I can shoot at them, so it's not a big problem. It's 242, doing some HE damage. Substantial as well, killing my troops. These guys are out of machine gun ammo. Oh no, they're out of... Oh my god, they're out of car 98k. And, uh, <laughs> I've never seen that happen. Um, but yeah, they, they will not fare well now. My planes here, uh, these are the good planes. Uh, the 110 points they do have 30 millimeter bullets so I'm, uh, I'm gonna start using them against tank flag 43 dead flag 88 shooting at this uh, train here he's got Ersa Stupin I'm not sure if they're phase A or B or C uh, but he does have lots of them probably phase C My uh, MG42 should take care of all of these ersatz. Elephant being bounced from uh, the uh, this guy. So this attack was repelled. 1410 for me. I eventually captured all, uh, all of that. So it's pretty good on that side. He's really concentrating back into town now. He's taken all my biggest defenses, but uh, I can just bring more. I got the Jagdpanzer IV coming in back to help against tanks. There is no tanks, but there is a Stug 42 here that could die. Uh, Nibelwerfer still doing some uh, quite quite some damage here. There you go, all of these ersatz. Uh, 
It's very hard to attack with Ersa Strupen on an already defended uh, place, but I think he, he thought maybe he did, he took out all my exterior defenses. And so if he could have gone inside with all the Ersatz and I only had some infantry here and there, he would have definitely be able to capture that. But it's not the case. Now I'm shooting uh, my mortars here. I've put all of these mortars to defend against this hill and I've got more mortars coming in here. And I really want to damage this line of defense here. I realize how important he, how hard it was. I'm bringing some mortars around here, but unfortunately now he's bringing some Jaggers. Destroy my elephant, I'm gonna be forced to uh, unload right here. But there you go, thanks to my plane and my machine gun 42. My MG. Um, yeah. So, uh, lots of mortars coming in to help. He's bringing another Nebelva for 300 millimeter. 1410 for me. There you go. So uh, this now is going to help so, uh, the uh, MG42 to survive. Mortar is even going to kill these guys outright. Jagdpanzer IV coming in. Nebel Weffer is going to try to kill the uh, Jagdpanzer IV. Will most likely succeed. Yeah, so all my mortars here have been giving the order to defend in this area. So I'm gonna pummel these down. Oof. Ouch. Direct hit. My defense here is starting to crumble pretty much. Um, but since it looks like he's only got Ersa Stupin to throw at me, I was, I'm, I was able to survive this. This guy is out of ammo, anyway. Ouch. I wanted to kill these Nebelwerfer, so I advanced with these two troops. Fortunately, Pack 40 kills these two four. There you go, 30 millimeter bullet to the rescue. Definitely do some damage on this 242. Now, even under constant pressure from the mortar, these troops were able to defend against my incursions around here. I really wanted to capture that flag. down more machine gun uh, this time instead of unloading in the open I'm gonna load in houses I saw the munition truck, I decided to go for that automatically. It looks like one of the uh, Nebel Verfer died, probably to airplanes. Yeah, I think I targeted it with my airplanes and so now he's brought some flag veiling to defend. He's got these little howitzers, light howitzers here. I'm bringing my commander tiger here. 
think it was long overdue. 190 points though, it's pretty expensive. Um, but it's gonna be another big weapon to bring. I'm gonna bring it here. And along with the Stug 4 coming in here. He's, he's taking back this flag with the Ersat. Um, yeah, eventually all the pressure from all these mortars uh, did succeed in taking out his uh, his defense. There's only a Jagger left shooting at uh, these four Pentagon uh, It's probably not going to last a long time under pressure of uh, two machine guns. Under two, eight machine gun 42 shooting at uh, this one Jagger. There you go. He's brought reinforcement on the hill. I'm bringing uh, my troops to capture this. 1311 so far. He's brought his Nebel Werfer against my mortars here. This guy survived pretty long. Uh, almost took out the flag veiling. So these are uh, old Ersatz Truppen. They're coming back from their falling. And this is what I like from uh, Disheartened Infantry. Oh, this is sad. This is what I like from uh, Disheartened Infantry is that they always come back to the charge. You, you have to defeat them at least five times before you actually destroy them. I see that so I'm gonna separate my troop unfortunately his aim was right here I should have just kept going over there I decide to stop completely so they get the entrenched bonus ouch still got more troops to give I'm bringing a lot of reinforcement here Jagdpanzer is gonna kill that flag 43 There you go. Okay. Tiger P started to do some damage. I, uh, yeah, okay. Brought another of Para here. Flight 40, Flight 36 killed by Stuke Tree. I don't have an answer to that right now. Uh, but you know, he's almost out of HE shells, so whatever. Now I know he's only got Ersa Supens around here, so I'm not too worried uh, about bringing reinforcement. But it would be great to capture this flag. Anyway, it is 15-9 now for me as I capture this flag, uh, this flag as well. For how long, I don't know, but I do have mortars shooting there, so that's going to help these guys. Um, 12 cat, there's only 4 guys left for the attack here on this hill. One die automatically. Uh, he was heavily suppressed. I am bringing reinforcement. Lots of troops in this hill. This felt kind of like a hamburger hill taking that hill. Uh, lots of fort in that. But finally, it looks like we're gonna take it for good. 16 8. It's 242 shooting in the Befel Tiger P. Oof, doesn't even kill it. What a travesty. Stug 3 versus Stug 4, long range engagement. Uh, no, actually, not even. My reinforcement arrived here. I'm gonna start capturing this back. 16 8 now for me is bringing a lot of reinforcement here. 
he wants to take back this hill. I'm bringing a Flak 88 around here to kill these guys. Plus this Tug 4 that's going to be coming a bit later. There you go. Long range engagement, I think. Yeah. Unvetted. Oh no, this one is uh, one vet. Two against one now. That's going to be harsh. Penetration on that sub four. And dead. And as expected, the assassin weapons are not putting much of a fight. I think I brought... Uh, no, I got these guys. I advanced. Two minutes, 45 seconds, 16, 8. At this point, I told my enemy uh, this was gonna go on YouTube. I hope you're watching this Black Adder. If you are, subscribe to my channel. I put lots of contents like that. If you do enjoy the video, if you don't enjoy it, then obviously don't subscribe. I'm bringing some. Uh, all of these are pretty much out of uh, shells. Oh no, these guys looks like they're pretty new. Anyway, so I'm bringing Opal Blitz here. Flak 88 already dead? Oh no, uh, yeah, it's already dead from what? I don't know, probably an airplane? Maybe these guys? What killed it? I don't know. It's a travesty. But anyway, I do have the Stug 4 coming in for this reason. Another Stug 4 coming in there. More Stug 4 coming in all across the map. And uh, Befall's Tiger P will do some damage, but although... Oh no, I thought he was being targeted, but the Nebel is targeting this. A bit of a waste, I think. These guys would have been able to capture this. Uh, he should have probably targeted this. Instead, but anyway, kills this two tree with my rocket. Now it's going to be one on one, and this one should be damaged a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. here he is. Nope, not even damaged, hasn't been shot. But there you go, long range engagement again. Misses his first shot. Bounce. Oof, penetration there. Bounce again. Oh, I actually missed the shot. Penetration there. Come on, dude. You're stuck for. You should be better than that. And destroys my stug. Wow, but I got another one coming. And I got plenty more. Oh, he's a bit damaged now. It should... Should work well. I don't know how his two trees keeps destroying mines. I mean, well, he does have the one star vitrancy, meaning he's gonna hit more than me. So I guess uh, that could pro that should probably be why. I'm bringing flak 88 around here, and another flak 88 around here. Even though I don't really need it, I'm bringing more pioneers two star to really d dislodge these guys up here. And obviously, I do have the uh, these mortars that's gonna help a lot. Two four. Two stuk four coming in. And this is game. <coughs> Shoots a bit uh, in the empty there, unfortunately. But oh well. There you go, guys. 49 minute. Uh, 51 to 60. 60 to 51. Uh, a very high kill numbers for uh, any battle uh, I think we both did great he got all the first kills but then it started going my way a little bit his Jaeger did good his 
242 as well. Nebel Werfer 300 millimeter took care of lots of things. Not so that one though. Stug tree here. Destroyed my two Stug. Flak Panzer 34 killed a lot of infantry that was into town in my attack in town. Look at that. Killed two Flak 43 Jaggers, 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 and one Hellsat. Did good, did good. Uh, same for this one. Killed three planes and some Jaggers, so it did good as well. Pack 40 did all right, I guess. It took care of a tank at least. And uh, these were transport that he shot. Panzer Shrek killed the Jaeger. Elephant did not do well, I think. But, uh, you know, the, his job was more there as a defense, uh, as a blocker rather than a killer. Yeah, I think overall it was a pretty great game. I had lots of fun playing it. It was a clusterfuck and we would just throw infantry at each other's face and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> so good game to you, Black Adder. And uh, now uh, let's go see. We're going to do part 46 next weekend, I believe. So let's go look at uh, what we're setting ourselves up for real quick. Division. So part 46 will be the 25th Panzer Grenadier. Hmm. I don't like that division too much, much, but they, they do have good infantry. So we're probably going to be able to do something. Good recon as well. Stuck trees only. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to do something with that. E. Ugh. Yeah, alright. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you for more later. Goodbye.